Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And uh, tonight we go on on this very fantastic experiment with uh, this uh, uh, charging by induction, or I don't know how to name it, but I tried tonight to make a theory. It is not my habits, but tonight I will try to do it. And it is my totally own supputation of what I think is called electricity. Only my responsibility, please. Okay, but I tried. All right. Now, we suppose we have a battery. This battery is providing a DC uh, a current or a voltage, okay, which goes, we have the battery here. The plus is going to the primary of the cache. This is the cache here, okay. Two turns. Then come back here through the collector to the emitter and through the negative. And you now nothing new, it is hot electricity. What the base of the transfer is doing, it is to open this transfer. And for doing this, we have a lot of turns here, which provide a certain voltage which goes here only this black uh, wire come back to the base and this is triggered by the uh, variable resistor all right but all this is hot electricity but then what happened we get at the end of this can be free but we connect it to the ground the black one here a very high by transforming voltage everything normal until now but my totally own supposition tonight is that probably in the process here in the cashier and all this Tesla transformer uh, also with a uh, flyback and uh, ferry system we are creating inside this system a second system a parallel system which is what I name the cold electricity and this electricity is working around the main system. See these red arrows. And these red arrows can perhaps take some power on the ground here, take back through all this winding here, in parallel but counter sense, go back here, and this cold electricity has do not sense the transistor and anything. It goes through and back from the base to the collector and back to the battery. Why do I say this? Because when the system is functioning, I cannot measure the tension, the voltage of the battery with my voltmeter. My voltmeter came completely blank as it was completely uh, upset. Why? Hmm, it is not normal. Okay, so I went back and as for my previous video, I put simply a large area copper wire around this battery and I could take the energy to let this system work. And today I make simply a wrapping of copper because I saw that this electricity, the second coal, come in the battery and excite all the battery. I don't know how, but it is a fact. And this battery begin to radiate everywhere this energy. And if we wrap something, we can perhaps get some of this power. Just for uh, small details, at the end here it is free. If I connect this free, and to the main, so it is a copper ring, it doesn't work. But in this coil system and free here, it works very well. And then we get the standard as I showed yesterday. Just for information, here I can change. I can put here a mass as dragon proposed. Or I can put an antenna. It works. Everything works. I think it's all the system is this cache creator of cold electricity. All 
happening in this transformer because probably high frequency, high voltage. I don't know how exactly, but it has a, a terrific effect on the battery. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very happy. Now we go to the machine now, and I will put uh, very shortly the current. You see the very big spark. The capacitor, the EPCOS. For the one who asks me, it is an EPCOS. It is a surge arrestor uh, limited at 350 volts for interested people. It is a spark gap here. Then the Avramenko here. Connected to the ground here. But I can take the ground and connect to uh, an antenna. It works also. No problem. And what is very puzzling here, now I take a neon bulb and you see that the neon is lighting very strong, so we have a very high voltage everywhere here. At the end here, we have a tariff-free high voltage spark, which is connecting with this yellow contactor here. But I can touch here, no problem. I am not shocked at all. At the end of the blue, not at all at all. But I would never put my hand on this. <laughs> okay. Hmm, this gentleman. I repeat another time today. It is my supposition. It is only to provoke some discussion on this. We'll be discussed at the uh, Energetic Forum and the uh, OU, of course. Okay, thanks very much for watching and good night at all.